Now this has already been mentioned during the security chapter, but it's worth reiterating at this stage about macro-enabled files. With 2010 came the arrival of the new macro-enabled files. If you don't save your workbook in the correct format, then your macro will actually be killed off. So if we take a blank file as we have here and create ourselves a quick macro, so record macro, I'm going to call it sample macro, okay. And all this macro is going to do is type New York, New York, and embolden, make it go bigger. The straightforward macro, let's stop that. We know that exists, we can go to macros, and we can see their sample macro. So if I choose a cell over here, to macros, sample macro, and run, I can see it appears exactly the same as I recorded it. New York, New York, big, bold, and auto fit the column. Now I want to save the file. So I go to little save icon. I want to save it as sample macro. I do nothing about the save as type at this moment and go save and I'll be given this dialog box. Following features cannot be saved in macro free workbooks. The normal file extension of XLSX is classed as macro free. If I now click yes and notice that yes is the default, so be extra careful. You don't just press enter when you see the dialog box. It will actually delete the VBA code behind your sheet and save the file a sample macro without the macro in it. If I want to save it with a macro, I need to click no. Change the file type to macro enabled workbook. Notice the extension is different, XLSM. And then I can save it. And it will save with the macro. And it's got that different extension. If you just choose the yes when that dialog box comes up, you'll lose the macro. Now it's not too bad when it's a little short macro like this, but it might be one that you've spent a while on creating. Be careful and make sure you save any files that will hold macros with the new file extension. So in the new file type, XLSM. The good news is if you receive a file incoming and you see that extension, you know it must have a macro in it because it's been saved as a macro enabled file.